is a result of my choices. Period. Hey, welcome to the Jim Munro Show. I am your host, Jim, the business alchemist. I'm here to teach you how to live the life of your dreams, how to create the business to support that life, and how to live in alignment, flow, happiness, joy, but also success, also the strategy, also the creative direction that you need in order to complete your business and your life. With my 16 years experience in the law of attraction, my eight years owning my health and fitness business, five years as a yoga and meditation teacher, and my 18 years in sales, marketing, and business development, I am here to help you increase cash flow, execute your vision, live in that alignment and flow that we need, and give you your time back so that you can live the rich and enriched life of your dreams. So let's get into this episode. Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm sitting here all cozy and comfy while this hurricane rain's coming through, but you know what? I am so grateful that I live in Atlanta and you know I don't have to panic really about hurricanes like in Louisiana and and stuff I mean I just my heart goes out to them and I just I can't it just must it must be so nerve-wracking living there you know and and having to deal with that and I just I feel for them I really really do so I am I'm looking at the rain today being very very grateful that all it is is just rain um and that I am safe and so my heart goes out to all of you over and having to deal with the hurricane and I'm and I'm hoping and and glad I'm that you know you're all safe I heard it got downgraded but yes the last day of the month so I'm going back to back on zooms today but I wanted to jump on really quickly here and talk to you because my I had a question actually with my new business within my new team with the athleisure wear and I had a question from other teammates uh, well not my team but you know the, the big 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 team that I'm a part of not just my below me and they asked if I could do a training and talk to them about my strategy and and my how am I doing this so fast and how am I you know going up the ranks and and growing a a massive team myself so quickly and because I've only been a part of it for six weeks and already there's only 250 people in the whole company who have reached the rank that I have and I did it in six weeks and I don't want to toot my own horn here but I just wanted you to kind of know what I'm what I'm even talking about so that's why everyone's like okay tell us what your secrets are and and I was thinking about it because I will do a train I will help but everyone wants to know the how right everyone wants to know the strategy and how many reach outs or what exactly am I doing how am I speaking to people and and I was sitting here thinking I really want to talk to people about themselves because it really begins with you. I want to talk about the fact that I don't give up. The fact that I have true and like my energy is right. My belief is there. My why is strong, but not just my why because that can kind of go in one ear and out the other. It's kind of like white noise. We all hear about, you know, what is your why? What is your why for, you know, losing weight or starting this business or leaving that country or whatever it is. And Your why certainly does have to be strong. You have to go back to it. But boy, do you have to do the inner work. Like really, what really is setting this aside is the fact that I have done years of inner work, spiritual work, healing, energy, changing my state, being having that positive mindset even when things turn to crap, which at the beginning of this year you've listened to all my podcasts, so you can you know I've been through the ringer in the first half of this year. And how have I come out on top? And how did I get through all that? And it's, how am I succeeding in in what I'm doing in in the six weeks? It's because I kept doing the inner work. If I was not healed, or if I, I mean, we're not always fully healed, right? But if if I still had some limiting beliefs, or my mindset wasn't right, or I still had self-doubt, or, you know, I was wide open, and I was, and I had no boundaries, and I was letting everybody leak all over me, then I wouldn't be where I was today. In this, com- in this brand new company. I knew that I couldn't shake off this dark energy that had been surrounding me all year. And I went and seeked help to get it off me. If I still had that, 
going into this business, if I still had that dark energy and the dark entity around me and the manipulative, you know, people in my life, if I had all of that still in, then I would not be where I was in this company because I would not be as excited. My energy wouldn't be in the right place, which meant my conversations would be totally different. They'd be coming from a needy desperation or desperate place. I wouldn't be authentic because I wasn't authentically me because the energy that I was carrying around wasn't all mine. And that may sound real woo-woo if you're not in that kind of world, I guess. If you don't understand what that energy means and, and having other people's energy around you and everything. Just think like... If someone had hurt you and then someone hurt you again, someone else, and then someone else had hurt you again, and you were just feeling a lack of worth, devalued, if you were, your confidence had been shaken, you weren't your authentic self because you'd been taken down by other people, right? And so that's what I mean by that's ego. Some other people attacked and, and brought down your soul. You, you started to protect your heart. You started to back away. You started to back down a little bit. Or maybe you got really defensive and you had your guard up. It's all ego. And what that just means is you're not being your true, authentic self. You, you don't have that perfect balance of, of vulnerability and surrender because you don't feel safe. You have to protect because you got hurt right so that's what i mean so if you carry that if you don't do the inner work and and do your energy work you creating boundaries with other people and yourself if you're not writing in your journal if you're not knowing where you want to go if you're not changing your state if you're not manifesting if you're not doing all of the soul work then i'm sorry but the success it's either not going to come or it's it's going to take a long time or when it does come, you're still not going to be satisfied. And so you're going to want the next thing because you've got to stop and be okay in the present moment and be happy with the successes that you do receive. Otherwise, you keep thinking that you're unsuccessful because none of the little wins ever matter to you because you're feeling incomplete because you've been taken down, Right? your confidence or you keep having to prove yourself all of this stuff is all in a work so when i go and train and you know the big team and they are asking me to speak on how i i have had such fast success the talk is going to be about energy the talk is going to be about get yourself right get yourself right first before i even tell you to reach out to five people per day before i even tell you that you know you need to say this thing or that thing or before i tell you about lists or you know creating strategies before all of that you have to work on you you have to get you right do you have limiting beliefs like if you sit there right now and you're like oh, i could just never be as successful as you because you know you're an entrepreneur i'm not an entrepreneur but limiting belief you've got work to do oh well i could never do what jim does because you know she, of course she's doing athleisure wear she was a personal trainer like of course it's easy for her but you've got some work to do you know oh well of course of course because you know she's she's married so she probably has you know support or you know bah! you've got some work to do first off you don't know anyone else's story so don't create one just to appease yourself okay you don't know how anyone's life is right and all of those yeah buts or, oh, it's easy for her, or, well, I can't do that because, or blah, blah, blah. It's all limiting. Why? Why are you even thinking that? Does it make you feel better so that you don't start, so that you don't fail because you fear of it, because of your fear of failure? Or your lack of confidence because something happened in your childhood that really hurt you and brought you down? Maybe you were raised by, you know, a father who belittled you or something. Like, there are so many things out there. I can't even list all the ways that we get affected, um, that we are affected in our pasts. But you know what? I'm 36 and today I choose. Today I choose my mindset I choose to keep going. I choose not to give up. I choose to be aware of my thoughts, my actions, my behavior. I choose to take responsibility for everything that happens to me in my life. It is no one's fault. No one. My life is a result 
of my choices, period. Your life is a result of your choices. Because guess what? Things are going to happen to you. Things are going to happen to you. They happen to everybody. They've happened to me. They happen to people who lose their legs. And then they go and they're in the Olympics. Things happen to people. But your life is a result of how you choose to react to the things that happen and what you do about them. I know that that's a really, really hard pill to swallow because how could it be our fault? It's just so easy to blame other people and then we just sit in our misery and nothing changes. Blame. You sit in misery because you don't take action to rectify it because you are stuck in the blame game. And then you live a miserable life. I mean, that is pretty morbid, I know. (laughs) So, the training that I'm going to talk about is literally the choices that you make, okay? Do you wake up and do you go reach out to the five people and then, you know, talk to another five and then record another three? Whatever the systems are, that whatever you're doing in life, if you're getting up and you have self-doubt because that is a pattern, that is a habit, you have woken up every single day with that doubt and you aren't aware of it, you haven't brought self-awareness and you're not changing it, you're not choosing to think something else, you will not be successful. You will not win. Okay? And what I mean by that is, sure, you might get to your, you know, six figures, your million dollars or whatever it is, but when I say win and when I say success, I mean happy. Happy, fulfilled, and free. That's success. Okay? Because you can make a million dollars and be freaking miserable. You can be alone. You can be depressed. You could be anxious, you could be unfulfilled, you could have a bunch of friends that aren't even really your friends. There's a whole bunch of things that can happen, okay? So when I'm talking about success, I'm talking about happiness, fulfillment, and freedom. Okay? So, a little pet talk this morning. I just thought about it because I, I was asked to do this training, and it just made me think, yeah, this first and foremost, I can't give you strategy until you until your mind is right, until your mindset is in the right place, okay? Until you do the inner work. So please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I am here to reach out to me on Instagram at gem underscore Monroe. You can email me gem at boutiquebizco.com. If you want to join my team, hey, look, if you're like, yes, I I want your guidance. I want your coaching. I want your training. I want to join this athleisure wear company. And you don't have to do it like I'm doing it. You don't have to do the full like, you know, of course, I'm doing this full time. You don't have to do it to that extent. But you can do it and earn a little bit of extra cash on the side. Or hey, if you just want to wear the clothes because you wear leggings, because who doesn't? Or t-shirts, tanks, sports bras, shirts, whatever it is. Then please, please, please reach out to me and I'm here to help. So thank you. Love you guys so much. And remember, do the inner work.